What did you think about the school board's uh, vote today to terminate Goodloe Johnson's contract? Um, I'm thrilled that Goodloe Johnson's contract is terminated, and it was overdue. I wish that the school board had listened to the employees and the community of the city who made a clear statement of no confidence. That was ignored, wasn't even acknowledged. And actually, I mean, it was the right decision to terminate her employment, but um, and it was without cause for legal reasons, but my understanding is that if they had not renewed her, I don't understand why they renewed her contract not too long ago, only to do this. If they hadn't renewed her contract, we wouldn't be paying her this huge sum of money right now to um, let her go. So I hope in the future, school board, if you're listening to this, um, please listen to the people of this city and listen to the people that work every day face to face with children, because we, we see the impact of, of these decisions and we have the interest of the kids at heart. And so when we speak to you, we're not speaking from our own personal interest, as I believe Goodloe Johnson was. We are speaking on behalf of the kids. And one of the things everyone heard today or heard the school board saying is that this whole situation has eroded public trust, aside from wasting taxpayer money. I mean, what do you think about the public trust issue? And do you think that's something that can be restored, or do you think it has to be restored in the first place? Code. Absolutely has to be restored. And the public trust was lost such a long time ago. I mean, um, there are so many other reasons to terminate Goodloe Johnson, and um, this is the reason that they chose. Uh, they're they're going to need to work really, really hard to restore public trust, and they are going to have to really start um, working with the community. I was actually at a school board meeting where they determined the level of community engagement they would have. There were very few people from the public there, and I was so offended at the discussion because they basically decided just to inform the public rather than really collaborate with the public. And I, I just want, you're not allowed to talk, but I wanted to scream, you guys, you are representatives of the public. What are you here to do except listen to your consist constituents and act on what they're asking you to do for their kids?